time for another computer build. Let's go. What's up guys, Ricky Arnold here, and if you've been around my channel for a little while, then you will know that we do like a good computer build on this channel. So on this one, we're gonna be bringing this to you because a friend of mine named Tom was requesting that he needed a computer uh, for gaming and stuff like that. So just happened to be that I had a couple parts laying around and I had been accumulating a few parts that I shopped for and found some deals on uh, various you know, shopping sites. Um, and I accumulated some parts here and I actually have enough to create an entire build right now uh, for his needs and I think it's going to be a great build for what he wants to do with it. So we're going to go ahead and go through the parts right here and tell you guys what he's going to be rocking and then uh, in a later video we're going to actually assemble it, test it and he's going to actually come in, we're going to see his reaction and uh, let him take the thing home and uh, start gaming with it. So let's get on to each of the parts and I will explain what we're using. Okay, so starting off, the brains of this thing is going to be the Ryzen 5 1600X. And uh, I was able to find this on the Facebook Marketplace in my local area for a really awesome price. Uh, I'm not really sure, I think these things are retail still for about 150, 160 bucks. I was able to pick it up for 80. So uh, awesome deal, could not pass it up. That was one of those things where I was just browsing my uh, Facebook Marketplace and saw this deal come up and I uh, was able to pick it up that day. So it was pretty awesome, got that. Um, and obviously this one doesn't come with a CPU cooler. So as you guys know, I upgraded my computer back there and I also had my stock uh, cooler laying around for my uh, Ryzen 7 1700. So we're gonna go ahead and use that for uh, Tom's build and it's going to be able to cool his stuff perfectly. He's not gonna be doing any crazy overclocking and all that, so uh, don't need a uh, you know AIO or anything crazy. So the stock cooler will be awesome for him and it, you know, it has the RGB on it, whatever. So it'll look cool too. Uh, moving on to the motherboard. This is the actual really, really awesome find of this build and uh, it's probably gonna be overkill for him, but uh, it's gonna look really cool in the build anyway. So this thing is the MSI X370 gaming titanium or power gaming titanium uh if you guys have seen this motherboard before on the x370 line this thing actually retails for like over 200 dollars and uh i was able to pick it up off of my facebook marketplace get this for 60 dollars yes somebody gave this to, or sold this to me for 60 bucks he listed it as 80 i asked him if he could take 60 because i just happened to have 60 bucks in my in my wallet at that at that time uh, and I went and got it from him and he, he he said yes, so I could not believe I got this This is one of those motherboards where it actually Like opens up so you can see how awesome it is on the inside like <laughs> it's one of those kind of things uh, Like when you used to go to the toy store when you're a kid and look at your toy you always wanted It's something like that. So for this build it's obviously gonna be really overkill for Tom but it's always good to have a super high quality motherboard in a build uh, especially for Tom who is He's actually a pretty computer savvy guy. He does programming, uh, which he's gonna be using this build for, um, but he also, for gaming and whatnot, this thing is gonna be plenty for him. It's got so many awesome features. Uh, too many to list right now, but you guys can look this thing up. It's very, very awesome. So it's pretty much a steal of a uh, deal right there when I got this thing, so that's the motherboard. All right, moving on to uh, the graphics card. We're going to be using my tried and true trusty GTX 1070 from my last build. Uh, it is the uh, EVGA. Uh, black edition. This thing is still really awesome. Uh, these things still, you can find them for around 200, 250 bucks. Uh, there's still an awesome card for 1080p and you can also do 1440p gaming with this thing and it is going to absolutely rock games. Uh, he doesn't really need much more than this for what he's doing because I'm pretty sure he's still gaming at 1080p anyway. Uh, but even if he wants to start gaming at 1440p, he's going to be doing awesome with this card. So uh, really, really cool thing. I'm glad to, you know, give it, pass it on and uh, let him game with this thing because I know for a fact it's really awesome. Um, then for RAM, we're going to go ahead and rock 16 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistic Sport right there running at 3200 megahertz because you got to have that fast memory when you're pairing it with a Ryzen processor. So we picked up that 3200 megahertz memory uh, to make sure that we take use of that Infinity Fabric and uh, get as much power as we possibly can for those games because that's mainly what this is for. Again, he does school work and whatnot, but this is mainly a gaming build, so it's gonna be awesome for what he needs. Uh, for power, we're gonna be using my old EVGA 550 uh, B3 uh, power supply. This thing's awesome. 
absolutely nothing wrong with it. I use it in my last build. I just needed more power in my new build for that freaking Radeon 7 that I upgraded to. Things super power hungry. Uh, so I actually needed to upgrade my power supply just to use that stupid thing. Uh, worth it, trust me, worth it. Watch my video on it, I'll link it up here. Anyway, um, but for him, 550 watts for this build is gonna be plenty. Like I always do, I'll list the PC part picker link down in the uh, description so you guys can see that this build is really only pulling about 370 watts. So this is gonna be plenty for that. All right, moving on to storage. We're going to have the OS and all of his main files on this uh, SanDisk, I believe it's an X400. So 512, uh, 512 gigabytes right here. Plenty of storage for his uh, main programs and possibly even a game or two. Uh, it's gonna be an M.2 drive. It is not NVMe, but it's still gonna be faster than a spinning drive. So we're gonna get him a uh, faster boot time with this little guy and he's gonna be uh, you know, whisked away. He's never, act I don't think he even has had a PC that has had an M.2 drive in it before or even SSD period. So uh, I'm pretty, pretty sure he's gonna be blown away no matter what. So uh, and then for mass storage, we're gonna go ahead and go with the uh, usually tried and true, the uh, Seagate Barracuda. And this is a three terabyte, so he can put all of his games to his heart's content on there, uh, movies, whatever he wants to do. Uh, he's got plenty of storage right here with three terabytes. So he's gonna be rocking and rolling, plenty of space to put all his stuff. And then to house all this stuff, this is the Fantex P350X gaming case. So if you guys know already, I'm a very big fan of Fantex because I actually have their case back there. That's the Fantex P300. Uh, I've been using that for a couple of years now in my build, actually two builds now, and uh, I really enjoy it. The layout was awesome to build in it. It is really, really great. Tempered glass looks awesome with some lights in it. Uh, and this one is also tempered glass, as you guys can hear. Uh, it's got a very similar type of I.O. on the back with two uh, USB 3s on it, um, the power button, everything like that, and the usual reset and, uh, and uh, LED lights right there. It's got removable dust filters, all that jazz that are magnetic. Um, it's basically the very same as the one that I've had back here, only this one has a really cool feature on it. These lines right here and the line down at the bottom right here actually has RGB lights in it. So this thing comes equipped with some RGB lights already integrated into the case, which is really, really cool. Um, it's nothing that'll make the thing game better, but you know what? Sometimes those aesthetics just make it look better and uh, make you feel better about your build. So I know Tom's gonna appreciate that, he'll, he'll love that. So the first thing we actually really need to do is we need to test these parts and make sure they work. Because I actually, you know, a couple of these things I bought used, so we're gonna have to do our little Frankenstein build that I usually do and uh, just kind of do a little build right here and make sure everything that I got is actually functioning properly before we let Tom come over and uh, see the build. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take out the uh, main components and then uh, put them through a little test and just make sure they're functional. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. screen from the motherboard everything seems to be working right and uh, all we got to do now is uh, assemble everything put it in the case and uh, go from there so looking good <laughs> 